So we're here at the Genia Tech. Yeah, we are doing some Saturday afternoon test talk. So we're going to show you a little bit around what we're doing the rest of the year and the beginning of next year. So what we're showing here is a little bit of our roadmap. Uh, coming back to this later again, and we're showing here some new technologies we already have in place, getting into mass production already. And here we have a 4K pass-through box, means we have HDMI in and HDMI out. We're coming with HDMI in to this box and playing direct to it. What you see here is this box playing this content. Nice. And in a small picture, you see this box. So it's possible to move around the, the PIP uh, window. Yeah, so basically, what anything, an HDMI just goes through. Yeah, it can be a Blu-ray player, it can be a setup box, it can be a digital setup box, it can be any kind of video source. DVB, T box, any anything. satellite, cable, whatever you have at home. Xbox, PlayStation, Xbox, PlayStation, whatever have an HDMI out can can be passed through mm -hmm. and bringing to a smart TV box environment. It supports fantastic all kind of ecosystems on OTT and IPTV business. So Everything getting it to be smart. Look at that. So we're talking HDMI in, HDMI out and yeah. uh, analog in also? We also support analog in. Yeah. But, I mean, yeah, and uh, what is this? this optical? Is, this is optical digital out. Nice. So, uh, so yeah, uh, this... Definitely. So, <clears throat> again, short explanation. This is a 4K pass -through. This is a new H.265 hardware accelerated uh, <coughs> platform which runs H.265 content up to 1080p. Actually, we run it here in the picture in picture. Moving to, to the full screen and starting a movie 1080p H.265. Going to the desk. Here we are, 1080p, HABC, 1080p. Okay, start it up. You know, Let's move it back into a picture and picture environment. Then again, you see, it's only here. Move it up down here. Let's start a 4K TV on that box. Yeah. Now you see here, yeah. picture and picture. Yeah. Yeah. So you have uh, what's called a. Uh you have 4K playing here and 1080p H.265 playing here at the yeah. same time. Same time. So this is almost perfect. To give a little bit more background information, let's talk about a little about the platform we talked about here. We're coming from the dual core platform, all AM logic based. We are dedicated and addicted to it. So moving already into the 4K environment, which runs H.265 for in a 4K resolution and already in software H265. Then we move now, and this is the platform we're showing over here, which in a picture in picture, it's a quad core running natively in hardware accelerated H265. Yes, based on a quad core AFM i5 platform. And for next coming new, by end of the year, we're running 4K H265 in hardware accelerated. That's the newest platform which is coming soon. Yeah. So give you a bigger background, all run on a Mali 450, all run on an Android 4.4.2 on KitKat version and supports different families in our product categories where we as an ODM for OTT and IPTV runs fantastic solutions to drive their ecosystem. So these, these uh, boxes are right on the market and extremely popular. Yeah, this right is the most, the most popular form factors we already have here. Just talking about this small form factor really runs and well accepted into the market. Runs comes with dual band Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, LE 4.0. It runs AV out, so also analog out, but for sure most connected to the HDMI out and have it for sure a 10, 100 megabit LAN adapter. Yeah, so very popular, very tiny, small-handed, even nice to carry around. Nice. Yeah, so and for sure we have the other very popular form factor, that's the, uh, let's say, bigger box format, which gives you some more convenience and also an optical out, HDMI out, the LAN out, but this analog out is more standardized, as everybody knows, for <coughs> older TVs to have also a smart TV environment. So in which countries might we have a big chance of seeing those? There's like, 
you are in all over the world. Yeah, actually we have customers all over the world. We carry uh, thousands of good customers. We are quite happy to serve them. And always supporting them on all ecosystems. The fantastic part is they participate from the technology that you develop. Get coming back to the setup of the demonstration we're doing here on this Saturday Tesh Talk. <laughs> it's pretty nice to talk about it. We're showing this newest H265 hardware accelerated platform. In a just picture-in-picture -picture environment, Maybe just go back to full screen. And what's yeah. also... Uh, <coughs> Isn't that cool to switch it fast yeah. back? That's, that's fantastic. And uh, what's also awesome is uh, this, this, this is a 4K TV, mm -hmm. Konka. It's, we have to mention that. Yeah. This, is a, this is a 4K 39-inch LED 39K 60U yeah. for peanuts. Well, it's below $500 here in China you can get. So the 4K market for China... Now, 4K TV is already starting ramping up into, let's say, not that expensive environment. We're using this kind of reference platform for all our developments because it's easy and convenient to get this and it runs perfectly. You see how sharp this picture is, it's brilliant, it's 4K, and even just run this hard to estimate the 1080p HWC and H265 into a picture in picture environment. So, this is better. That's the perfect partner for the 4K decode box that you're able to that yes. you are at right now. Yeah. So, how do you do all this video decode? Uh, how do you have all these video codecs supported? Is it possible we can we can check out uh, some of your engineers uh, see see what how they do this? This, uh, this stuff? actually we cannot move to the lab. We don't do so. But as you know, you're a little bit familiar with. We have in the back of our offices we have boarded. Uh, three, four different labs which takes care about this development. One part is customization of this to bring it in a, a let's say, API, APK friendly environment. The other one is just working on the code base to make this picture in picture uh, installation possible, to make this decoding possible of H265 and make it possible that we can see, see and demonstrate it as it here it is. So, so yeah, the engineers did this, this solution, their P yeah. PIP, yeah. Uh, right here. Yeah, the HMI in is it's developed here in our labs with our, our own <coughs> APIs. It's just an APK, it's just an app. It's just an app for demonstration. Basically, what customers do with this, they can even bring out their own solution in a 4K HMI picture-in-picture environment, so they can ship it to their customers. We have different kind of solutions already on the dual core side developed and taking into account this knowledge, we already bring it now up to 4K level.